Hi everyone, Pete here from Greenwave Productions. Thank you for joining us today. We are talking about goal setting. This video is a how-to guide on how I set my goals. There are plenty of other ways to do it, but this is how I do it. There is another video that accompanies this one that covers more about the importance of goal setting and the principles of goal setting. I will link that probably below and there will probably be a card on the end and all that sort of stuff. So let's dig into it straight away. I'm going to share a screen with you so the, you can really follow this along. Thanks guys. Okay, we are sharing the screen obviously with you. Um, so this is how I do things, okay? I use a uh, Google Doc. You don't have to use a Google Doc. You can use um, a, a Windows, uh, sorry, a Word document, um, something like that. You can even use a pen and paper if you wanted to. Um, the only reason that I use uh, more of a cloud-based service so that I can, I, I don't lose bits of paper, if I'm going to be brutally honest with you. Uh, I just don't want to lose it. So what I've done is I've, so I can keep track and make sure that I'm uh, using the SMART method. If you don't know what the SMART method is, there is a separate video where I go into the, um, the fundamentals and the specifics of, of what the SMART method of goal setting is. Um, so uh, very briefly, this is the SMART method. Um, it's S-M-A-R-T. So our goals should be specific, they should be measurable, attainable, they should be relevant and time bound. OK, if you want to know more about the individual elements of this, um, check that video. It will be in the uh, description below and it should pop up on the end. OK, so um, I. I'm going to start with three main areas of the, of my life that I want to set goals in um i've put them in order of what, what my personal priorities are i suppose um i i think that my personal life is probably the most important aspect of my life um that's because it contains things like health and my relationships with my loved ones and my family and my friends and all this sort of stuff uh, so my personal life, I feel, is critical. Uh, my business and my band are almost sort of lifestyle choices. Um, but your, your, the areas that you want to work in, uh, or you want to work on, I should say, um, will probably be different from mine. I mean, you might not be a business owner, so your, uh, your, your uh, business one here might just say career or job or whatever. Um, and it might be a case of you want to work less and you hate your job, things like that, that sort of thing. Um, so moving on, um, essentially what we're going to do is we're just going to we're going to kind of just dump every aspect uh, that we want to work on. And we're going to try to use this acronym to go with it. So uh, what I'll do is I'll give an example in the, the personal bit. And then I will um, I will list out for the business and the band, um, and I'll speed that up for um, for obvious reasons for for the, for the video, and then I'll come back and explain a few bits. So uh, let's get a bullet point. So personal, um, I need to lose some weight. I'm carrying too much weight. I use this as an example in. The other video but um it's still a relevant um goal so i want to lose some weight okay now that's relatively specific but we can be a bit more specific than that so i want to lose three stone okay or uh i think it comes to 42 pounds for you lovely people across the pond um so I want to lose one pound per week. Uh, so feel that that's quite attainable there. Okay. 
Um, relevant, it's basically relevant to my overall health and well being kind of common sense. Uh, time bound, how much time am I going to give myself for this? I'm going to give myself one year. Okay. Now, those of you who are paying attention, <laughs> um, sorry, I've left the word pound out there. Okay. Uh, those of you who are paying attention, one pound per week, um, there's 52 weeks in a year, but you only need to lose 42 pounds. So, um, the reason that I've said one year is because I know me, okay? I'm I'm not the sort of person that is going to religiously lose one pound per week. Um, mainly because of life, really, and I'm a human being. And there's certain things that I enjoy, like beer and pizza and all that sort of stuff. Um, so the chances of me losing one pound per week on a regular basis is pretty slim what's more than likely going to happen is i will lose one pound one week i'll put a pound on another week and then i'll lose two pounds the following week you know and and so on and so forth if i say a year then i've got a 10 week buffer to hit this target okay i i, I need to think like that with with this goal okay um because that's the way i am so that keeps this attainable for me personally someone else who is good with their weight will probably do that week in and week out and be kind of really on it as such um i'm not i'm not gonna uh i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna have any birthday cake <laughs> on my birthday and that sort of thing uh because i've got a pound to lose that week do you see what i'm saying so hopefully that makes sense okay so this falls under each of this it's specific it's measurable it's attainable it's relevant and it's time bound okay so it's got all of those those elements in there okay um and it's also personalized to me yours should be personalized to you and you need to be kind of honest with yourself um because if you're not you're going to have problems with your attainability on that you know if you're not realistic then all it's going to really do is lead to disappointment okay so i'm going to flush out the other elements of this and um speed the process up and then just have a run through um of what i've done okay Okay, so that's now getting there. It's getting there. I I will flush this out even more, but um, for the sake of this video, um, I want to try to keep it as as short as possible. Um, so um, you can get really, really, really granular with this, um, and you will probably have a much bigger um, list than this by the end of it. But like I say. For the importance of keeping this video short and not getting too carried away so i expanded more on the um personal um with a bit of exercise on there exercise i feel is really important um not 
not just physically but mentally as well it's, i think it's really good for your mental health um and also the same with relationships this is why i tend to prioritize personal stuff um because this is the stuff that's really important so um i suppose under relevant for both of these i should put um relevant to my physical and mental health okay and uh this would be the same for that one okay um relationships i do need to spend more time with my family and, and a lot more time with my friends um i think having people in your life certainly positive people in your life is massively important um try i try to avoid negative people in my life as much as possible um it's not always as simplistic as that especially if you have family members that you you still love dearly but um have a slightly negative outlook on life things like that um but there are ways of managing that but that's a whole other video so <laughs> i'm not going to get too much into that um so then moving on to business um which yours might just be job or work or career or whatever so i want to increase my income by 20 percent okay that just makes sense really so the relevant part um of of that would be um to help grow my business as it were um so i feel the best way to do that is to increase my clientele there are other ways of doing that i could do it via um just upping upping my rates by 20 percent um but i feel that my price point is not too bad i quite like where it's at at the moment um also the other way that i could do it is by just providing less services so you kind of get less for your money so i spend less time um working on things um i i i mean i love what i do so that to me um seems a bit silly um plus i feel that the service i provide are really good the services that i provide are really good so um i wouldn't want to degrade that in any way um so i think the best way or the best thing for me to do is to increase my clientele um and i'm going to do that by creating more content marketing uh creating lead magnets um if you don't know what lead magnets are um google it again I, it's not something i particularly want to go into sort of video length um i'm going to use paid advertising um but i also want to start a podcast uh so i need to speak to um my co-host about that and i need to write more episodes okay um so that i feel um oh and i'm going to do this over the next year um next you see how it's good just to kind of have this up here just to keep um everything in um in track really um so yeah that seems to be it's specific it's measurable it's attainable it's relevant and it's time bound okay um so that's all good and then there's the band um the band's quite a new project um we've basically written uh, an ep uh, so we need to do the production on that to finish that off so we need to do the, the recording mixing and the mastering on that um and we need to look at distribution channels once that production is done um it, we need to have a website and a shop to sell merch and all the physical copies and and all the other paraphernalia that goes with that um we're shy of some band members so we need to find band members um and then look at playing live shows so obviously we need to sort out things like rehearsals we need to contact uh, venues to play in venues we want to play 
on do online gigs and things like that um and create content from the road i suppose um that oh uh, yeah no let me get rid of that because i think that goes more into content so we need to create content um basically to help market the band itself and establish a brand um so um to um create a fan or build a fan base and keep that fan base and everything else so that would be the relevant so it's specific um something measurable um so the measurable part of this again is going to be uh actually no let we can break that down slightly more so this part we're going to do over the next three months uh this we can do now this we can do um over the next six months uh, nope. do that because I feel like this is going to be the same uh band members we're going to do now live shows again oh i don't know i think we should do that yeah let's give it let's give it six months let's let, we need to be realistic and the content stuff we do now basically if i if i don't have um any kind of definite time scale as it were it just means it's going to be an ongoing thing so for the band you know this content creation stuff it's just ongoing that you can't really put up a, a deadline to it because um content creation you're going to be doing all the time it's just part and parcel of of what we do um so to put a deadline on something that you're going to do as a constant um kind of thread that runs throughout the whole thing um it would just be silly it just doesn't make sense so put put a time limit on stuff that you need to put time limits on but if you've got something that you just you just know that you've got to do all the time like day in day out you know week in week out month month on month um then it's silly to put that because we, we're going to constantly be creating content um no, no matter what we do okay so you know we're always going to be taking pictures you know of, of band shots at the you know if we're playing um it's quite nice to have a picture of the set list um and you know anything if we're on the road anywhere or doing anything it's quite nice to see yeah so that is essentially it i mean that that is mildly flushed out I will elaborate more on this and flush this out even more. Like, um, so this content creation stuff. I mean, this stuff will be great for for established fans, for instance. Um, but for people that don't know us, it, we need a whole other list of uh, what types of content we're going to use um, to kind of draw in potential fans, as it were. And then I'll break that down even more. Um, so um hopefully this um uh, all makes sense and hasn't been too uh too boring for you it's just basically a dump of everything that's in your brain um regarding what you want to achieve and how you want to achieve it and in what sort of time scale you want um you want to achieve it um and it's really great for keeping you on track so that's exactly how I set my goals. Um, I hope you found that really helpful. Um, 
Please let me know in the comments below if you have any other strategies that you use, um, any other ideas that you use. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, please remember to hit the likes and the subscribe and that all important uh, notification bell so that you know exactly when our videos are coming out. Thank you very, very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the near future. Stay happy, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. Have a really good day. Bye-bye.